your morning routine will either set you up for success or set you up for failure. Let's discover what my morning routine or my morning ritual is like and let's compare it to yours. Right after this. morning YouTube hopefully uh, you're all out there eating your breakfast like I am um, you know I, I just want to uh, talk to you about a couple things here this morning that uh, you know came to mind and uh, you know the other day I did a uh, breakfast with Kevin and you know might as well do another one today so uh, <clears throat> part of it is is eating breakfast that's something new for me you know prior to two weeks ago I didn't do it on a daily basis I was lucky maybe a couple times a week I had breakfast. Uh, one of the other things was in two weeks I haven't had any soda. I haven't had a very uh, a, a minimal amount of carbs over the last uh, two weeks. And you know, if you're, two weeks ago for those of you that maybe didn't see the other video, I ended up in the hospital. Uh, chest pains, rapid heartbeat, and you name it, all kinds of crap. Uh, high blood pressure. It was kind of a wake-up call of, you know, I was heading down the wrong path. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's amazing how much better I feel just simply two weeks later by eating right and getting rid of the crap out of my, my diet, you know. For me, I used to joke around and say I'd get all the water my body needed from the ice inside my soda. That's insane. That's all I pretty much drink anymore is water. You know, um, the, I've had a couple glasses of iced tea here and there with a meal, but uh, it's water, you know. And uh, one of the things that uh, I wanted to do was, was get one of those pitchers that uh, allow you to put the fruit in the middle and infuse the fruit flavor into the water. And those pallets we got over the weekend, not only was there a pitcher in there, but there was two personal, like, travel cups that also have the infuser in it. So almost like the water bottle you'd carry around with you throughout the day. I was like, that's awesome. So now we have like those two individual bottles, one for me and one for Kath, and then the pitcher that sits in our refrigerator. And let me tell you, adding that little bit of flavor, you know, you don't see it. It's not the flavor packets that kind of got aspartame that really not good for you, but uh, it, it's got the flavor of the water in it. Sorry, flavor of the fruit in the water because there's no flavor to water <laughs> you know so uh, I want to talk today about uh, morning rituals you know what, what do you guys do for your morning rituals I uh, I've been uh, trying to get a grasp of my daily my new daily methods and ways that I want to do things for me before I you know would get up a, a, a decent hour and it, and it wasn't I feel sluggish in the morning. I didn't feel like getting going. I didn't want to go and do things. And now, I like wake up about 15, 20 minutes before that alarm goes off in the morning. And my alarm goes off at 6. And, and it's like, all right, I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. What am I going to do? So, and this morning is, is I got up and, uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I start doing my, my morning routine. And one of them is I grab my phone and... Uh, scroll through emails look for anything and you know it's old habits from running IT businesses where you constantly got to be monitoring everything and I uh, I going through and, and uh, all of a sudden I got a notification that a new video was put out and it uh, from the king of thrift if, if, if you don't follow him you know I'll put a link down in, in the comments um, or in the description so that uh, you can go see the video I'm talking about where he kind of went over his morning rituals and it was like yeah you know I, I need to do some of that other stuff not just the waking up early, but, you know, mapping out your day the day before. You know, putting it into 15-minute increments of what you're going to do for the day so that you're more productive. You know, eating right, eating breakfast in the morning. You know, for me, I'm having a, a bowl of, of uh, bran flakes with uh, lactate, fat-free milk. Um, I'm probably going to switch that up and, and not even use uh, the lactate milk. I saw a great video from uh, Booms and Bigs. Uh, if you're not following them, I'll also put a link down down in the description. I'm making your own milk from nuts. A very simple <clears throat> method, excuse me. And then usually I try to have some fruit, whether it be a banana, some strawberries, some melon, something. 
just to help offset it. But uh, <clears throat> I eat the bran flakes because uh, a little bit of fiber. You know, I'm not eating a lot of breads. I'm not eating pasta anymore. Um, that's a very tough one. You know, I, every now and then I might have a little tiny piece of, <clears throat> a little tiny portion of pasta, but I don't have a tremendous amount of it, you know. Um, but, but my <clears throat> dirtiest thing is, is rice, you know. And, and yes, it, it, sometimes it's brown rice. Other times it is white rice. And that's just because I'm finding it uh, pairing well with some of the meals I'm making. And, you know, it's a matter of getting things... It, in like you know the 1500 calorie a day cookbook to give you some ideas on how to cook um you know this is what we found at the thrift store so and it just happened to be you know this past weekend we were we we're hanging out in the thrift store and it, there it was on the shelf so picked it up um and that was the other great thing you know uh saturday after we um started digging through those pallets you know if you're watching the live video awesome if not please go watch the replay of us digging through and showing some of the treasures that were inside the two pallets that we ordered. Um, we had to run uh, about uh, 40 minutes south of, of where we're located to my daughter Paige was having her prom and I had to go down and get some pictures of her and uh, her boyfriend before they left. And uh, while we were down there, we, we hit up a couple thrift stores. And for us, it was a, a complete change going to those thrift stores because no longer were you trying to look for anything and everything that could make you some money. You were be able to be selective because we had those two large pallets sitting in our garage full of goodness. I was able to pop on several items. Unfortunately, they're buried in the box right here. But, uh, you know, a couple board games, uh, some software. Uh, All together, probably about three, four hundred dollars worth of profit on a handful of items you know the the software brand new shrink wrapped um that's one of those family tree maker softwares selling for like 160 bucks and i paid two so you you, you really it, it was nice just to be able to go through and there were some things that we normally would pick up it's like nah don't need it it's only gonna make me three four bucks i don't need that i got pallets of goodness in my garage you know, I stumbled across a, a calculator from Texas Instrument, and at first I thought it was one of the scientific calculators, like we normally been picking up. You know, that tend to put uh, 20 20 30 bucks in our pocket, and uh, it was a, a BA35 Solar, and I don't know if you guys have seen that one or have picked it up or sold that one, but it's not the $30, $40 in your pocket. It's more like $70, $80 in your pocket, so uh, I can't wait to get that one shipped in and sold. But there's all kinds of things that um, you can do in your daily routines to get your day started and organized properly. And, and you know, I'm not, I'm, no perfect, I'm not perfect. I'm not, you know, by any means somebody that you should be following for that process because I suck at it. But I'm going to document what I do, what I try, so that gives you guys some ideas on what you can do and what you can try, you know, is is and that's that's this whole channel's purpose is documenting our journey to freedom, you know, and it, and it's documenting that journey. And so, um, one of the things I, I want to get better at is, uh, you know, I created the website with the purpose of documenting in a blog format some of the same things we're documenting on video. And yes, there'll be posts that contain the video, but there'll also be posts on days that we don't make videos. And I just need to I need to block out the time to be able to do that. You know, we've gotten a lot better at our listing. We went from struggling trying to get over that 100-item hump. It some, seemed like every time we got 100 items listed in our eBay store, we'd start selling stuff and then, you know, it would go away. We stopped focusing on the number. We started focusing on the dollar amount listed. And at that point, you know, we were, we were hovering around 1000 Wow, not happy to say the least, but totally my fault. Um, I was using OBS to record this video this morning, and unfortunately, I had my settings set to record directly to an MP4. And, uh, you know, the first portion of this video that you just saw, that's only about half of what I recorded. For some reason, OBS crashed in the middle of saving the file. 
So, you missed a lot of goodness that I just can't recreate because it was with the flow. Um, the gist of it was that, uh, you know, we, we uh, focused more on getting our listings on, onto eBay and trying to, to improve that routine. And we went from hovering around 100 listings all the time that um, never could seem to get over that 100 listing hump. You know, we, we'd get 110 items, great, and boom, 15 would sell. We'd be back below 100. We kept, it was just that vicious cycle over and over and over again. And, you know, with that, we, we were around uh, anywhere between, the dollar value was anywhere between $1,000 and $1,500. And uh, we stopped focusing on the number of listings and focusing more on the dollar amount that we were putting up. And, you know, um, right now we're sitting at uh, 236 active items. Um, and that's only because I didn't list anything yesterday and we've sold a few things yesterday. Um, but dollar wise, we're at almost $6,000 in, in retail value of stuff that's out there. So it's made a huge difference in focusing on that dollar amount we're putting up and not so much focusing on the number of items, you know, cause if it's a number of items, you're going to, you're going to be going to get anything that, that's going to sell and make you even a buck or two bucks. Instead, focusing on those stuff that are going to make you a little bit more profit so that, you know, you can take the time to, to list the things and find the things that for value, you know, buying these two pallets. I got plenty of items out there to list. Um, finding Joe Lister software that allows me to uh, take my Amazon listings, share them on eBay and let Amazon fulfill it. You know, that's just, that's crazy that, you know, people will buy stuff on eBay and then Amazon ships it to them. You know, if you're interested in Joe Lister, uh, there's a link right down below in the description. Um, you know, there was another bit I talked about, um, about focusing on um, things, we've taken the things out of our life that are causing us stress. Um, you know, a lot of it, anything that's going to cause us stress is gone. Get it out of here. I don't want to deal with it. Um, and there are going to be things in your life that you can't control. There's going to be things that, d that do cause stress that y y are completely out of your control. You got to learn not to let them bother you. It's uh, all about focusing on what you can control, you know, and it, it's the, the last few weeks have just been, been, uh, really nice, you know, especially rounding out the end of last week. It's just, I feel very relaxed, very at ease. Uh, I just feel great, fully energized every day getting up and doing, and you know, it's, it's focusing on, um, where our time is best suited. What, what can we do throughout the day? that improves our lives and part of that is working for somebody else might not be in that picture and it's uh, a very tough decision to make you know obviously our whole journey was to get to freedom to get back to self-employment but not just for me but be able to, to allow Kathy to do what she wants to do as well and not have to be obligated to work for somebody else you know it doesn't mean that we won't or choose choosing not to work for somebody else but it's having that opportunity that you can make that choice you know and uh as as we've been looking at things that uh i have a, a couple of clients that might want to come back for doing some web development or seo type work that uh you know i might pick up and bring back on a, a monthly retainer that would allow me to free up my time during the day to focus on um, our reseller business. I don't know what that noise just was, but <laughs> crazy, crazy. But, uh, you know, to be able to focus our day on our reselling business and be able to still have income coming in to pay our bills. Um, we make money at the reselling, but it's not at the level where it's enough to pay us a full-time salary. So, and, and we'd like to get it to there. Um, it's There's a lot that goes into the whole picture of looking at life and what we're doing. And it's uh, 
you know, making sure we have time to enjoy it. Spend time with the family. Spend time with our friends. Be able to travel. Do some of the things that we've always had on our bucket list to want to go do. Let's go do them before there's no opportunity to do it and you're buried in the ground. You know, we we tend to, as humans, as Americans, um, work our asses off. You know, granted, a lot of Americans are lazy and don't, but we work, 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 work. We don't enjoy those other things. And, you know, 20 years ago, I lived in in Europe. I lived in Asia. And the culture is just completely different. It's, It's more about that spending time with your friends, spending time with your family, taking a month off for vacation. You know, it's just crazy concept of of lifestyle that we don't have here you know when you work for an employer you gotta beg for time off hey i need to take a day off because i got an appointment i need to take time off for this or i want to go here i want to go there and it's well you only have this uh set period of time per year that you can take well what if i want more what if i just want to take another week off you know it's it's you gotta beg for it, and and I don't like that. I, I just I just I don't know. It, it's one of those things that I don't know. Maybe it's because I was self-employed for so long that I'm just used to being able to set my own schedule, and now I'm not in control of it. But oh. so it's finding the right mixture of stuff that's going to work for us. You know, I'm not saying I'm leaving my job or I'm quitting or I'm, I'm getting out of there today. Um, I still don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what the big picture holds, but it's taking the most uh, methodical way and looking at every piece of it to help make that decision. A couple years ago, that would have been me. I've been like, Psh, see ya, I'm going to do my thing. And now I'm trying to map it out and make it. I'll just be a smooth transition. So, so what is involved in your daily routine? You know, this video was about daily routines and we kind of got a little sidetracked, but I want to know what, what goes into your daily routine. What is your morning ritual like? What do you do to help set your day up for success? You know, is it, are you mapping things out the night before and then living by that map the next day? Or are you flying by the seat of your pants and seeing how things go? Are you just, you know, blocking things off in time? What do you do every day? Do you have a set routine every single day when you get up? Leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, if you find our content is valuable, please give us a thumbs up. Let YouTube, let others know we're doing a great job. Are you a subscriber to our channel? Awesome. Thank you very much. We love our subscribers. We love the ones who are interacting with us on the videos. It, it, it's great to see the comments come in. If you're not a subscriber, I highly recommend you click that subscribe button so that you can get a list in your feed when we, we appear, you know, when we put out a new video. If you want to get an instant notification, like a pop-up on your phone if you have YouTube on your phone, or an email saying that, you know, hey, we put out new content, click that little bell next to the subscribe button. YouTube will notify you if we go live, if we put out new content. It's a great way to find out when we release something new. So, alrighty, hustlers, I want you to get out there and I want you to do. Yeah.